Hey, this will be a video chart on BEHL, Biocentric Energy Holdings Incorporated. Uh, this is a long time uh, chart that we've been following, and I want to get it updated real quick just because it's presenting a, a, an interesting trading opportunity here. And then from a daily chart perspective, uh, possibly um, getting ready to put in a, a favorable uh, pattern here, that being a double bottom. Uh, but we'll have to see what happens. Uh, the video is not going to be anything special. It'll be pretty quick. Just want to go over uh, the pattern and then the, the trade setup, and that'll pretty much be it. Um, first, let's just start off with the previous low, which was over here at uh, 0.012. So if I take that and draw this line over, you can see that uh, we're hanging right around that area. Uh, the one thing to note about this line is, um, and a lot of people never remember this, but supports and resistance areas are not specific exact prices. They're, they're zones, they're areas. So keeping that in mind, you can clearly see that Yes, we did close below it today, but it's still well within, you know, this little kind of zone, as you would call it here, of price action. So for the, the people that are holding this longer term and for the daily chart players and so forth, uh, this is setting up a potential double bottom. Now, why do I say that? Well, obviously we had this support here. You could see we had nice volume uh, when this low was put in. And now we're right around that same area and looking down here at volume, you can see once again, uh, that volume has picked up. Now, does that mean for sure that we're going to get some sort of bounce? You know, no, there's no for sure's in the stock market ever. Um, but if you do use history and kind of the volume as a, a, a kind of an indicator of what could happen, you can see that there's lots of similarities here. Same price area, volume has picked up. So maybe this is going to, you know, get a nice little push upwards uh, and, you know, maybe come up here and g give these moving averages a visit up here. So that's one thing to look for, possible a possible double bottom getting ready to form. And then on that same note, for the traders out there, uh, this is a, a, a nice little risk versus reward uh, play, meaning you know you don't you don't have to risk a lot, but you could make quite a bit. So let's say that you wanted to hop in just right here, right around this area. What you could do is you know pick up some shares there, and now this is key, or else these strategies don't work. You'd pick up shares there, and then you'd put a stop loss in somewhere down here below the low of this. So let's map this out. So you buy some up here, and then you would put a stop loss, you know, somewhere around that area. So this rectangle here represents your risk. So that's how much you could lose on this play. But your possible reward, and let's say you set a price target for up here at the 200-day, your possible reward would be this whole rectangle. So as you can see, the risk versus reward is heavily in favor of uh, the reward part uh, but once again like I said if you don't set a stop loss and don't honor it then you know your risk could expand down to something like that and that's totally destroying the point of a play like that so keep that in mind but a uh, nice little opportunity here for the people out there that don't mind you know kind of bottom feed and then trying to set up a little risk versus reward play um, but you know once again stop losses are key when you do those sorts of things Overall, though, hopefully it'll bounce and get a nice little double bottom here. Um, if it does, the first key resistance will be this 200-day simple moving average, which is this orange line. And if it does happen to get up there and break through that, I will definitely be back with another video chart to update things. Um, but for now, it's kind of a wait and see in terms of whether or not we're going to get another little bounce here uh, like we did back during this portion of time in early November. If there are any other questions on the chart, though, please shoot me a message. I'd also encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting very good reviews. And with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. We're making some good money together on our picks. So it's worth uh, signing up and giving a try. And, you know, best part is everything's free. Uh, so you really got nothing to lose. One more time, this was BEHL. Thanks for listening.